Hello friend and thank you for supporting this cleaning for free. What's coming up in this video? We are cleaning and organizing a bedroom. And what some of you might like is that this person is collecting vintage objects, such as the rolling tray that you could see. I don't really know the English word for it, but if you do, please comment below. Now, this bedroom and this dirty mattress belong to a woman in her 30s. Let's call her Jane. Now, Jane is a real warrior because she has been in an abusive relationship for some years. But recently, she had the courage to break up with her boyfriend. There was almost nothing left of the Jane she was before this relationship. Because of safety and because of privacy, I won't tell much about the relationship Jane was in, but I can tell you that it made her anxious. And that's why Jane started isolating herself. Jane also had a hard time sleeping, and that's why she mixed up day and night. It was very tough for Jane to find herself again. And that is what this bedroom reflects. It reflects a very hard journey of finding herself. But the day that Jane messaged me was the day that she decided to take back control over her emotions, over her feelings, over her life. As you can hear, I am talking way too much in this video and that's because there was an interviewer present from the local newspaper who wanted to do an interview with me. She really wanted to see me working in the field and she also had a photographer with her who wanted to take some pictures. And even though she was a really sweet interviewer, my head just was spinning around at the moment because I really cannot talk and clean at the same time. At least not so much. So uh, I was answering questions, I was cleaning, I was thinking about how to organize stuff and it was just a lot at the same time. That is also the reason why you may see me clean and tidy up in a very unlogical way. Um, I am watching this footage back and I see that I am working on one corner and then I'm hopping to another corner and then jumping back to the first corner. I can really notice that my head wasn't fully committed to uh, the cleaning and that's a pity. So next time when someone wants to interview me, I would do it differently. <laughs> Two of the most beautiful items that Jane owned were these chairs and one of them you can see in this clip right there on the screen. Um, it's a very old chair and it has a little bit of a goldish color. As you can see, the seats of these chairs were quite damaged, but Jane has plans to renovate these chairs and restore their beautiful look. When I'm cleaning, I prefer to use a broom first to get everything off the floor and then vacuum the floor and lastly mop the floor. But in this case, Jane didn't own a vacuum, so um, I couldn't use it, of course, and it is too heavy for me to take my own vacuum with me um, besides all the cleaning supplies that I have to take. So in this case, I'm working with what I have. Um, and what I do notice is that when people don't own a vacuum or their vacuum is broken, that the house gets dirty and trashy much, much faster. 
It's not always that these people don't want to have, own a vacuum, but mostly that they cannot afford a new one. Here in the Netherlands, it is a possibility to apply for a fund at the local municipality, but not everyone knows this exists. And so if you're living in the Netherlands and you could use a new washing machine or a vacuum, um, just know that you can apply for this at your local municipality. Right now you can see me cleaning the other side of the bed and as you probably have noticed there are a lot of dirty clothes everywhere in this bedroom and that is because change washing machine was also broken and this is quite a problem for her and so I offered her to come back next month and take her clothes to a laundry service as long as she doesn't have a new washing machine. When I got home I remembered that I didn't see anything that looked like a closet to put clothes in. So I messaged Jane, do you actually have a closet to put your clothes in? And yes, she has one, but that is standing in the other room. And I might be working on that room too, because it was quite stuffed. So it would be amazing that after I washed her clothes, I could put them all clean into the closet. But in order to do so, that room needs some tidying up. And I hope Jane gives me permission to tidy up that room as well. Something else that Jane owns a lot are horror DVDs. And I personally cannot watch horror movies. They scare the freak out of me. And so when I was uh, putting these DVDs into a moving box, I hardly looked at the covers because they were so scary. <laughs> so you will see that in this video uh, a little later. <laughs> I would like to take a moment to express my gratitude towards every one of you. Thank you so much for watching these videos because it really motivates me to continue to clean for free. And there are some people who bought a free cleaning job. And these people are Carolyn, Michelle, Sarah, Someone and Ro Mag. Thank you so much for buying a free cleaning job. And all your donations will be spent on these cleanings and on anything that the homeowner might be in need of. If anyone else wants to support this channel financially, you can go to buymeacoffee.com. Every coffee is five bucks and cents for a free cleaning. So if you want to support this channel in another way, you can go to the link in my description and see if you want to donate a free cleaning.
Do you see who is hiding right there in the right corner? Right, that is a real tiger and he has been watching me clean and tidying up the whole time. He was very, very silent, waiting to attack me. Of course, I didn't notice him at all because he was hiding so well and you have to keep on watching to see if I will survive this cleaning or not. What I forgot to mention in the last video is that there are also people who gave a super thanks. And these two lovely people were Monica and Dane. Thank you so much. And last week I received some super thanks from Michael and Hope Higgs, from Michelle Williams, from Patricia from Barbie, from Danish T and Hermione. Thank you so much and I really appreciate your generosity. Here you can see how the tiger tried to claim this mess and he said Rawr, I don't want you to clean here, I don't want you to tidy up, this is my room. And I said well I'm doing this for a good cause so please relax, um, I am not your enemy, I'm just a friend cleaning for free and just let's be friends. And of course I was shaking as I was talking to him because one swing of his claws and I would be down on the floor. But I tried to make peace with him and in the end he was very relaxed about everything. He only had one request and that is that the bed should be his territorium and I was okay with that. I even had a little surprise for him in the end. I also wanted to give you guys a little update on preparing my veggie garden for this summer. 
I love gardening. It just makes me at peace. And right now the seedlings are growing pretty fast. Um, I've got zucchini, cucumber, strawberries and tomatoes growing. And I'm planning on uh, planting garlic as well. I am just a beginner at growing my own kitchen garden, but I use Google and YouTube to learn more about it. And my three-year-old son also really loves to help me. Now, if you're a more experienced gardener, I really could use your advice and your tips. Um, so come on over on my Instagram and check my stories because there I will post about my gardening stuff. And um, yeah, I'd love to connect with you. You can find the link to my Instagram in the description. Someone commented on the last video that I should implement more aftershots in the videos and I will definitely take that advice. In this case uh, there is a safety and privacy issue so I couldn't film much. Here you can see how I tried to surprise the tiger with his very own bedding um, and later on I saw that it was a leopard <laughs> but he was very relaxed about it. There was no real duvet because Jane had been sleeping on the couch, um, but right now she is sleeping on her own bed again. What is not in this video is that I did mop the floor because as you can see it was pretty dirty and I am going back to Jane's apartment next month to finish what I started. And right now I have a short after clip just because she didn't want me to film as much. Um, because of privacy and safety as I told you but thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time bye